Hi everybody, it's me, Raina7, and uh, Matt's going to read me uh, the questions for In Full Flux, the 11 question tag, because it just seems like fun to do. Okay, and then I wanted to wear my goggles. Okay. Okay, go ahead, number one. Question number one. Can I be heard properly over there? Yeah, oh okay. yeah. I don't... Out of all the days you live, could you pick two days to relive? When were you, one where you live in moment for moment as it actually happened, and one where you can change things that happened to you and yours. So you can't change the woes of the world, but you can change what actually happened to you and people around you. Simply just saying, what would you pick two days of your life you you like to relive? All right. Um. I think we, probably when I met Duran Duran, that was pretty fun, a lot of fun, and I think I would be a little bit more, um, I don't know, not not so, like, giggly kind of thing. I was 25, so I guess I, I could, that's an excuse. Okay, next. Okay, question two, which is got three parts. Okay. What is your biggest weakness, your greatest strength, greatest pleasure? My weakness is by my self-confidence, because um, I'm, I'm actually very self-conscious of myself. Uh, my strength is, I think, um, making people laugh is good. Yeah, yeah. And what brings me pleasure is having people laugh with me, not so much at me. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, next. Okay, question three. You've been sentenced to either death or life imprisonment. Life meaning your whole life, the choice is yours. Which you're going to choose. Firstly, in a Western country. Secondly, what if this prison were in a third world country? Um, well, if, if it was in a third world country, just saying, I would probably um, pick death. But if I was like going to spend the rest of my life, I probably wouldn't live, you know, obvious, obvious reasons. But um, I think it'd be one of those really nice ones in Europe. One of those nice prisons. So I, I pretty much would say just live it out. Unless it was in a third world country, then no. Kill me. <laughs> Go ahead, next. Okay. Question four. You've been told you only have a year to live. One, do you tell people to keep it quiet and why? Two, is there something you have to somewhere you have to go before it's too late three something you have to say four something you gotta do I would probably not tell a whole lot of people because I wouldn't want them to um, treat me any differently if that makes sense and um, let's see what was the next part of that oh yeah is there something you Somewhere you have to go, somewhere you'd like to go before it's too late, somewhere like before you die. Yeah, um, I would like to go to the ocean. I want to see the blue, the blue part of the ocean. Because it, um, I've seen like the northeast part of the ocean and it just looks like Lake Erie, so it doesn't matter. I would much rather just, I'd probably go down south of Florida, you know, like the Keys. Oh yeah, but not during spring break, no. Okay, next. Okay, okay. As an adult, have you ever taken a photograph in the nude? And if so, have you? are you still in possession of it? No, um, not in the nude. Um, but maybe a sexy one, but not naked. No, ew. Mm -hmm. No, I, <laughs> that, that would probably break the camera. Okay, here we go. Uh, number six. Under what circumstances did you leave your parental home permanently? Uh, well, like we were talking earlier, uh, just growing up, it was like my parents' house, if it wasn't so chaotic and insane, I would probably want to live there forever because it's just, it's, it's nice there, but it, it's, it's too chaotic. No, there's too many mood swings. Never. Next. Okay. Sorry, I missed number seven. Okay, you've been invited to the fanciest of fancy dress parties. Oh, okay, 
you're invited to a, a dress, a, I guess, a costume party. All the, con, all, all the costumes are handmade and provided free of charge. You just have to decide which which character you're going to go as. What would you choose? Which one would you choose? I want to be an elf princess. An elven princess. Okay, um, question eight. That seems like a pretty straightforward answer, so let's go on to the next question. Okay. What video clip or song that you never knew existed before are you most pleased to have found on YouTube? You have to, I guess it's finding something original. What original thing that you never heard of before did you first find on YouTube that you're most pleased to have found? Um, wow, there's a lot of great artists, like musical artists on here. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Jang Lang had this one. And I cannot remember the name of it, but there's a song, and, and it's it's called Quicksand, and it rocked. I loved it. It sounded kind of like '80s ish, early '90s maybe, like early early. But it, it's really really cool. I think it's called the the name of the group or person was Larue or something. Next. Next question. Question number nine. Would you accept? Ten thousand dollars in payment for a night of passion with a person of the gen of somebody you normally have sex with. If even if you know if it was somebody you don't find attractive, and then would you do it with someone of the opposite of the person you usually have sex with? Have you ever paid for sex? Would do you see anything wrong with others paying for sex if both people are agree to it? So essentially, it's asking you: Are you a whore? Would you be a whore? And you have any problem with anybody else being a whore? Um, I'm not a whore. I would never be a whore. And I don't think I would want to hang out with somebody that <coughs> was um, selling it or buying it. Especially, I think, I think buying it would bother me more than selling it. Because that's just, you know, that's just creepy. That's like sexual predator or pervert stuff. And I'm... You know, somebody's got to buy, somebody's got to sell. Well, I know that, mm -hmm. but it's just kind of gross on both levels. Ew, no, no. Really? I don't want to catch something from my toilet. My toilet. Oh. If they came over and peed, and be like, "Could you please use the hover method?" Okay, next. Okay. Who do you think you look most like out of your out of YouTube friends, uh, or at least somebody you have the most common with? If you don't look like the person. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Stevie. Yep. Yep. I have to say I look a lot like Stevie. <clears throat> okay. Question number 11. Sarcasm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. Question number 11. When you are making videos, what's the strangest or quirkiest thing you always do? Uh, I tend to say it's all good. Too much. Or, um, okay. I got one. What? If that makes sense. If that makes sense, if yes. If that makes sense all the time. Yeah, that's irritating. If that makes sense. If that makes sense. Because I just don't feel like I'm getting myself across. Mm. Alright, those are my answers. And we did it under 10 minutes. Right on. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. And uh, if I can come up with some good questions. Maybe I'll throw them at you. It's been real. It's been fun. And thanks a lot for the uh, tag. Peace be with you. Always... Bye-bye.